Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Here's an update and some more information about that 6.5 earthquake that occurred near Chalice, Idaho. Um, very possibly over a million people felt this earthquake. It was felt as far as Oregon, Montana, the state of Washington, etc. 36,491 people reported feeling this earthquake. It was felt as far as Edmonton, up there in Canada, Calgary, British Columbia, um, all the way down uh, to even Las Vegas, Fresno. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I think more than 36,000 people felt this earthquake. Using Google Earth, here's the location of that 6.5. And you notice this fault line. Yeah, we got the town of Stanley. Real Fish Lake, and we also have Pettit Lake. Now, they're saying this is a unknown fault line that occurred up here, where the 6.5 was. A recently um, activated ancient fault line. Well, we got the Sawtooth Fault Line. I believe this is an extension of the Sawtooth Fault Line that is capable of having a magnitude 7.5 earthquake. Um, that was discovered in 2010. To give more credence to what I'm talking about, I talked about how we have all these faults that come up through the Snake River Plateau or from the Snake River Plateau as the um, hot spot of Yellowstone slowly moved up through um, that valley. There's a lot of faults that are undocumented. Um, here we have the initial P wave. The first wave, that is usually the sound that people report that they hear prior to the shaking. The P wave came from the uh, southeast. Now let's look again at Google Earth and what is southeast. Yeah, the uh, sawtooth fault. Now in 2010, uh, using ground penetrating radar, they believe that this fault line runs from Stanley all the way down to Pettit um, Lake, about 40 miles long. Now that's all they measured, ending uh, close to where Stanley, the town of Stanley is at. This fault line is an east dipping fault line. I'm gonna show you something else. Here on Geoscope, you can see that the fault line moved east. And we also had uplift, see that? but it also moved south. I guess you can say it's reactivating this ancient fault line. There hasn't been a major earthquake on this fault in at least 7,000 to maybe 10,000 years. And they named it the Sawtooth Fault because it lies there along the Sawtooth Mountains. But Thackeray said researchers believe the fault triggered two earthquakes over the past 10,000 years one some 7,000 years ago and another 4,000 years ago, suggesting significant seismic activity occurs at the site every several thousand years. And of course, predicting um, when they will happen, well, they, they can't predict that. But there has been smaller earthquakes in this location. They initially thought that the fault line was somewhere between 25 to 40 miles long located at the eastern edge of the range and comes within about five miles of the town of Stanley. A portion of this fault line runs through Redfish Lake and at least as far south as Pettit Lake. The Sawtooth Fault is an east dipping normal fault vertical motion which runs along the eastern base of the Sawtooth Mountain there in the state of Idaho. And on Wikipedia, they added the 6.5 earthquake that occurred yesterday, March 31st. So someone else also is thinking the same thing, that this earthquake is part of the uh, Sawtooth Fault, whoever added that into Wikipedia. According to USGS, there's been 46 earthquakes in the last week in this location. Uh, let's move this over. Uh, the most recent was a magnitude 4.1. And let's go down to the last earthquake we got. Yeah, see, there was nothing in the last week in this location. 
Uh, before the 6.5, then there was a 3.6 and another 4.6. Um, yeah, my concern, I'm going to show you, is that more and larger earthquakes could occur. Down here, let me bring this out a little bit, is the uh, Snake River Plateau. And I talked about this area before, how there's multiple faults running through. Because as the uh, um, hot spot of Yellowstone moved up through here, um, yeah, it created all these faults, the cracking. Craters of the moon. Okay, that area had an eruption uh, only about 2,000 years ago. You know, and I've told you, in my opinion, as the Earth's magnetic field weakens, we're going to see more earthquakes and larger earthquakes. We're going to see uh, volcanoes erupt, some that haven't erupted in, you know, eons. Um, yeah, that's my concern. But just like we had there in um, Ridgecrest, in Coso, yeah, how the earthquakes are continuing there. And also in Salt Lake City, the earthquakes are continuing there. And their major earthquake turned out not to be the major, but a foreshock for one that was even larger. Geology is about, oh, at least 50 years behind in other sciences. Um, and there's not much research done in this area. Anything that's done is by independent scientists that come in and, um, yeah even for Yellowstone. Yeah, USGS doesn't do their own research. Um, it depends on independent science. So, an undiscovered, unknown fault line? No, I don't think so. I think this is the uh, northern portion up here of the uh, Sawtooth Fault. Is this fault line reactivating for a major earthquake? Well, time will tell. Everyone should be prepared for a disaster, not wait to the last minute to go out and get foods and things like this. This is a remote area. Um, it's mostly for camping and hiking, things like that. But there is some small communities in this area. And if it did have a magnitude 7.5 or greater, it would be felt across a very large area. Um, you probably would have damage from something, you know, 7.5 or greater. Um, so what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe and I will talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.